Domingo por la mañana, Pastor Sol and Patricia, we want to welcome to you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Band, a church you can call home, where we honor God, love families, we serve others, and we pursue excellence. Bienvenidos a la iglesia del nuevo comienzo. Amen. We want to welcome all our NBC family, all our visitors, and all of you that are joining us by audio and video. All we ask you to do is prepare yourselves to receive and receive what God has something for you. Amen. Yeah, Don't yeah. just pass it to somebody else. You know, say, hey, Jesse's back there. Pass it all to Jesse. Huh? Yeah, <laughs> no, receive for yourself. Amen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's yeah. got something for you. Amen. Just yeah, like yeah. Uh, Christmas. Uh -huh. <laughs> We're all expecting a present, you know, we want a present. Well, you know what? He blesses us. They call blessings. He blesses us each and every day. Amen. Yes, yes. Woo, hallelujah. Amen. We just got to stay in tune, you know. Uh, used to be when you, you tune your radio in, you know, when it's out of tune, you got to tune it back in and get right on it, you know. Yes. Well, we got to tune in to him and we got to get our GPS just right and Go with him. Amen. Amen. I mean, this is where he wants me to go, and this is where I'm going. Amen. Woo, praise God. Thank you, Lord. So, anyway, we're going to be talking today about just let your joy flow. Okay. <laughs> I know you was going to think, thought I was going to say, let your love flow. But that's okay, because you know what? Okay. Before the bell, me brother, was... Jesus was. Amen. And God said, for God so loved the world that he let his love flow. Amen. Yeah. But we're going to talk about joy. Let the joy, just let the joy flow. Okay. Amen. It's in you, but you got to let it out. Amen. I got a, uh, well, <clears throat> I've got a couple of scripture uh, breaks or for scripture nuggets I want to read at you. Amen. But before that, Woo, grab your sword, soldier of God. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Put your Jesus glasses on. <laughs> and let's read this together. Let's make this declaration together. Amen. Since this is my Bible, I am what it says I am. I have what it says I am. I can do what it says I can do today. I'll be talking the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. That's Lord, that looks better with your Jesus glasses. You know what? Yeah. <laughs> if you don't have Jesus glasses on, grab you some. And uh, before you <laughs> go out into the world, put your Jesus glasses on. What does that mean? That means I'm going to see the world with his love and his compassion. Well, Otherwise, it's just going to be a world for you. Amen. And it's just going to be anger. It's going to be rage. It's going to be all kinds of giants waiting for yes. you. Problems waiting for you. Yes. Top priorities waiting for you. Man, I can't mm -hmm. do those things. Well, you can do all things through Christ. Amen. You just got to have your Jesus glasses on. Amen. And let his love, let his compassion flow from you. Amen. And let his joy flow from you. That's what we're going to be talking about. We're going to be talking about just let your joy flow. Mm -hmm. Just let your joy flow. Amen. There it is right there. Just let your joy flow. And joy means this. Jesus owns you. Yes. And if you don't know, you know it now. Amen. Yes. You're his. But you got to receive him. you got to confess him as your Lord and Savior. When you do this, you're his. Amen. Yes, and they are yeah. God's winning team. Woo, hallelujah. Man, the Olympic score. Lord. Who's winning? Well, you know what? On G when you're on Jesus' team, you win. He made you to be a winner. He put you here to win. He didn't put you here to lose. If you're losing, you're on the wrong team. All you need yeah. to do is get it right and say, Lord, I've sinned against you. I confess you as my Lord and Savior. Come my life. Be my Lord and Savior. You know what? You're going to be on this team. From, yeah. there, from now on, you're going to be a winner and not a loser. And every yeah. time you think about, you know, you get these. Uh, we talk about this all the time. The battlefield is the mind. So the enemy's going to put words. They try to put words in there for you. But you're a loser. You're no good. You're not qualified. Right. You can't. You can't. Yes. You can't. Say, so, wait a minute. But that's, not what the, that's not what the Bible says. Yeah, yeah, that's not yeah. what the Word of God says. Yeah. It says, I can do all oh, things oh, through Christ who strengthens me. I'm a child of God. Greater is he that's in me than he that is in the world. Woo, you start confessing the Word of God. Guess what? I'm on yeah. my way. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Winning. Amen. You're here yeah. to win, not to lose. That's right. And you don't want to go there no more. Amen. Amen. You're a new creature in Christ. The old is gone and the new is in. And you start confessing his word and speaking his word and stop pressing on for the things of God. I heard this. We saw the Southwest Believer Convention. And you know what I hear a lot? <laughs> you know that we are winners through him. 
Amen. We are winners through him. Yeah. Ooh, hallelujah. You're the closest thing. This is it. You're the closest thing to Jesus. Some people be around. Yeah. You are the body of Christ. You are the church. Mm -hmm. And wherever you happen to go, wherever area you happen to be in, you're the closest thing mm -hmm. the world or people be around. Mm -hmm. Amen. You're the closest thing to Jesus. Yeah. You're the closest thing to a Bible. Some people be around. They may not come in this building. I mean, they'll be blessed if they come, <laughs> and we'll receive them if they when they come. But when wherever you happen to go, yes, Amen. That's the closest thing they'll ever come close to Jesus, and they'll, you're it, Amen. Woo, hallelujah! So I got some nuggets I want to read at you. So remember, joy. What's joy? Jesus owns you, <laughs> Amen. Isn't that good to know? Yes. Used to be the world on you, so let's not go there no more. Jesus owns you. Amen? Amen. Praise God. Um, and along with joy, I read it last week, but I'm going to read it again because along with joy comes the smile. Mm. It says, give a, give a smile. Give right. yourself a facelift daily. Mm. That is guaranteed to improve your appearance. Yes. <laughs> I mean, some of us, we need to improve our appearance. How can we do this? Give a smile on our face. Both, both, <laughs> smile huh? often and give your frown a rest. Yes. A smile needs to be, uh, uh, excuse me, a smile needs no prescription. That's it. Has no unpleasant taste huh. and costs no money. That's it. Just smile. Just have, be joyful. <laughs> Amen. Smile goes a long ways, but you're the one that has to start it on this journey. That's it. You need to start it, you know. Don't wait for somebody to smile at you. You smile at them. And they'll want to know why. Says, so, you know what? Jesus told me to smile at you. Yes. Amen. Ooh, that's okay. They open the door, so you gotta come in. Says, Jesus yeah. loves you. That's why. Amen. Ooh, praise God. You gotta set. You gotta start it on its journey. Yes. Your world will look brighter from behind a smile. Of all the things you wear, your expression is the most important. Mm -hmm. Smile is the most uh, beautiful attire. That never goes out of style. Right. Proverbs 17, 22. And this is one of our scriptures today. It says, a merry heart, a joyful heart, do it good like medicine. But a good laugh is the best medicine, whether you are sick or not. Nehemiah right. says, the joy of the Lord is your right. strength. The worst day that you can have is the day that you have not smiled or laughed. Oh, Use your smile to change the world. Don't let the world change your smile. Be thankful. Remember to put a oh, smile yeah. every day mm -hmm. and give a smile. Amen. Amen. Ooh, it's free. Yeah. Amen. Ooh, it's going to give you a face. Uh -huh. <laughs> we need to put a smile all the time. You know, and it's going to make people mad. Mm. Why? You know, don't you know what's going on? Man, I got all these problems. And you're problems. smiling. Why are you smiling? Because mm -hmm. Jesus is my Lord and Savior. Mm -hmm. Amen. And He yeah. supplies all of my needs. And he can do the same for you. All you need to do is receive him as your Lord and Savior. Woo, man, some people go ahead. It's time to change. Change is good. Yes, it is. Woo, Wow, praise God. I got another one. I got a couple more. <laughs> Listen to this. You never saw, you never heard it like this before. It says, joy is mine. Joy is a force. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Joy is... A, is strength. Mm -hmm. Joy is one of the most powerful spiritual forces in the world. Yes. Whatever circumstance you're facing today, uh -huh. approach it with an attitude of joy. Yes. Woo, hallelujah. If you're going to have an attitude, have an attitude. Have a, a good attitude. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. We have a sign back there that says gratitude changes things. Uh -huh. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. You cannot live a life of faith without being strong in the Lord. Right, amen. And when God wants you strong, joy is what he uses. Joy is not a state of mind or short-lived emotion because you've been born of God by the Holy Spirit. The fruit of the Spirit is joy. is in you. Develop it, confess it, live it if you want to enjoy its power. Right, enjoy amen. power. Let the joy of the Lord be your strength. Amen. Amen. That's what the word of God says. Let the joy of the Lord be your strength. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. 
You know, we want to be sad, doom, and gloom for everything. Uh -huh. If you listen to the world, uh -huh. the news, or whatever, is not but native stuff. It's yeah. going to bring you yeah. down if you listen to it. The Bible says to renew your mind with yes. the things of God. Where's the battlefield? The mind. the mind. And the Word of God tells us, renew your mind. Mm -hmm. Because the enemy is going to use your mind to try to pull you down. Yes. Amen. It's going to try and put you down. Man, we got all kind of good little things here that we want to read to yes. you. But it says, don't let the devil steal your toy. Amen. What does he come to do? The Bible says he comes to steal, steal kill, kill, and destroy. destroy. Amen. Uh -huh. Don't let the devil steal. You know what? He's willing to take if you give it to him. Yes. Uh -huh. Amen. You know what? He's going to put thoughts there. Mm -hmm. And if you meditate on those thoughts, it's going to pull you down. And he's going to come in. And you're going to start confessing the wrong things. And, and you just open the door. And he's going to come in. And he's going to steal your, your joy. Amen. Don't let him. Amen. Don't let him. Renew your mind with the word of God. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. Keep going. Man, these are good. Yeah. <laughs> says don't let anything or anyone steal your joy you know what god uses people we're his church we're his body but if you're not for god you're for the world and those people in the world are going to come and they're going to try to steal your joy amen they're going to say things and do things amen to distract you and to pull you down they don't want you to, they don't want to see you happy and joyful they're going to say man, let me tell you something and they're going to say some things uh -huh. that's going to try to hurt you and pull you down. Right. Amen. So God uses people but serve us the enemy. Amen. And if you're not for God, you're for the world and you're for the enemy. Whether you believe it or not, but you are. If you have not confessed it, then right. you belong to the enemy. You belong to the world. <laughs> Woo! Hallelujah. That's what Lord. God says. Keep going. These are good. Say, let your smile change the world. Don't let the world change your smile. And they will. You know, like I said, it's a negative world. Mm -hmm. He says, go into the world and preach the gospel. The good news. That's yes. what gospel is. It's the good news to all these people. Why? Because they're bombarded with negative words all the time. They're bombarded with the wrong things all the time. Mm -hmm. And they hear these things. You know, <laughs> the television, the cell phone, the newspapers, any kind of magazine any way okay they're gonna repeat negative they're gonna say negative things to you and you keep listening to it and meditating on it and you're gonna start doing it not only that you're gonna start believing it and it's gonna come out of you all right amen let's not go there man this is good don't let the world change your smile amen Woo. keep going brother. this is good don't let anyone ever Dull your sparkle. Oh, yes. <laughs> they will. Yeah. They don't want to stop. Keep going to the next one. Mm. Shine for Jesus. Mm. Amen. He's the light of the world. Yes. Amen. We got to let our light shine. Man, we used to teach children for 30 plus years, you know? And we used to sing that song all the time, you know? This little light of mine. Mm. I'm going to let it shine. You know, mm -hmm. but yes. you know what? The world, people, they're going to try and put it out all the time. They don't want it to shine. No. You know what? No. How you gonna, How am I going to keep my light shining? Mm -hmm. I got to get in the Word. Mm -hmm. And I got to get the Word in me yeah. so that I can stay filled and charged up in the things of God. Amen. And my light is going to shine bright. Amen. We can do this. We got to keep it bright. You know what? When you walk into a dark room, into a dark world, you're going to be shining. People are going to notice that. And they're going to say, how come you shine like this? And then you let them know. Yes, Jesus is my Lord. Amen. And I let my light shine for Jesus. Yes. Don't be ashamed. He says, if you're ashamed of me, I'll be ashamed of you. Yeah. I'm not going to be ashamed. They're not ashamed to cuss you out. They're not ashamed to give you a piece of their minds quick. Oh, that's for sure. But you know what? You just let them know who you are and who you are and who you belong to. Amen. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. Praise God. Man, I shouldn't have said that. You shouldn't have said that. You know what? You could have this, what I could have, what I have. Mm -hmm. Amen. That could that belongs to you. Mm -hmm. The world has stolen it from you. The world right. has stolen it from you. Amen. Ooh, praise God. Let your light so shine. Matthew 5 16. You can write these down. Christ is the light of the world. Not uh, John. 
nine five. Amen. 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 I'm his. I'm gonna shine. I'm gonna let this little light shine for Jesus. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. I don't care how small your light is. If it's shining bright yes. in the dark, it's gonna show. Yes. Amen. And then in the dark world, everywhere you go. <laughs> Hallelujah. So joy is a force. It's a strong force, a spiritual force. Amen. And we buy we fight a spiritual battle. A spiritual battle. And you can't defeat it in the flesh. You got to be in the Word. Yes. Amen. And confess the Word. Let the Word Amen. of God flow from you. Mm -hmm. It ain't going to do you no good if, if, if you have it in you and you're not speaking it. Yes. You have to speak it. He said, yes. I sent my Word out. Mm -hmm. And it goes out and accomplishes what I sent it to do. Yes. And then the same thing that worked for him will work for us. Yes. yes. Amen. We can do all things through him. All things. Another scripture break says, don't forget joy. Joy is an essential part of a victorious life. Yes, it is. He put us here to have a victorious yes. life, a not a defeated life. Amen. Mm -hmm. Says joy is what gives you the strength to hold steady when the circumstances get tough. And That's you know it. what? That's <laughs> As children of God, when the tough get, when it when it gets tough, the tough get going. That's, That's us. It. We get to step in. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Joy gives you the ability to laugh in the devil's face. Ain't that amazing? You don't like that at all. Right. The Bible says, submit yourself to God. Resist Him. Yes. Take authority over Him. And He'll flee. Amen. He has to go. Why? Because He sees who's backing you. He knows you're confessing God's word. Yes. And He's going to flee. Yes. Flee is not just walk away or crawl away. Right. <laughs> flee means right. he's, he's going to disappear. He, he's going to go. Amen. Yeah, when you retreat, you know what? You're defeated. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's a defeated foe. Yes, he is. Damn, we need to remember this. He's a defeated foe. Don't be afraid of a defeated foe. He's not giving you a spirit of fear, but a power of love and of a sound mind. Amen. 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 Ooh, hallelujah. Amen. So joy gives you the ability to laugh at the devil's face when he starts trying to knock you off your faith. Mm -hmm. He's going to try to knock you off your faith. Right. Amen. Remember, he comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Mm -hmm. Amen. He gives you a staying, standing power mm -hmm. that will make you a winner. Yes. Mm -hmm. And see yourself that way. See yourself a winner, not a loser. Mm -hmm. But the world, he's going to use the world, he's going to use people to come and tell you how bad you are. Mm -hmm. That you're no good. You're not qualified. Mm -hmm. You're not qualified for anything in the world. Right now. Amen. You're going to feel defeated. Yes. Like, I'm not wanted. But that's not what the word of God says. Mm -hmm. So it says, give no place to the devil. No and he won't be able to steal your joy or your victory. Yes, the yes. joy of the Lord. Again, the joy of the Lord is your strength. Yes. Amen. Keep going. We got all these. It's going to come back to you. Mm -hmm. Just don't let the sadness of your past and the fear of the future ruin the happiness in your presence. Right. Amen. And uh, mm -hmm. let me see. Let me read it to you. From the, uh, from the from Matthew. Let me see if I can find it. <laughs> Matthew 6. I'll read it to you. Mm -hmm. You just write these down and, and go back and check them out. And check me out. Amen. It's okay. Matthew 6 33 says this. Yes. It says, But seek ye first the kingdom of God and this righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Yes, yes. 34 says, Take therefore no thought for tomorrow. For tomorrow uh, shall take uh, thought of uh, for the things of itself. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. That's you it. know what? Mm -hmm. I don't need to be thinking about tomorrow because I got no problems here. Right. Mm. Amen. So I'm not going to bring all the problems of tomorrow and the day before and multiply them back mm -hmm. here. No, I'm going to take care of today. This is the day the Lord has made. I'm going to rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. I'm not going to magnify the problem. I'm going to magnify my God. Amen. Let's remember that. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Who woke you this morning? He did. Well, I'm going to magnify him. <laughs> and again, the joy of the Lord is your strength. It says, be happy. It drives people crazy. Amen. I know you've been around folks like that. They're going to get me upset. You know, because you're happy. They don't want to see you happy. 
Don't you understand what's going on right now? Now you keep keeping up with the sad news. No, I'm keeping up with the good news. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Keep going. These are good, Carmen. <laughs> now check this out. Separate yourself from blessing, the blessing blockers. Blocks. And that's yeah. what these people are, you know. They see you happy. They see you joyful. And they're going to say, wait a minute. They're going to block your blessing. They don't want you to be blessed. They want you to stay down and out. You know, they want you to stay doom and gloom. It says, they purposely distract you with sin, drama, and fear because they can't stand to see you happy. Happy. That's it. They can't oh stand God. to see you blessed. No. 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 You know, they want you to be down and out. Mm -hmm. They want you to be in, in the dumps all the time. Yes. Depressed. Oh, gosh. Amen. But you don't have to be there. You know, hey, we can we can talk with friends, but we're not that close. And I'm not gonna let nobody block my blessings. Amen. Don't let nobody block your blessings. Amen. He wants to bless you if you're being obedient to God and walking with Him, and your priorities are His. Mm -hmm. He's gonna bless you yeah. because that's what His Word says. Right. Mm -hmm. Amen. And people are gonna see this. Say, man, you're the closest thing to Jesus I've been around. Well, praise God. You know what? He's soaking you. All you need to do is confess Him as Lord and Savior. And yes. you're a child of God. And you're on God's will and team. Yes. Amen. And you know what? You win a gold medal every time. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> woo! Hallelujah. So, woo! Man, those were good. So, joy of the Lord is your strength. Amen. Amen. You know, when the walls of Jericho, they say the walls of Jericho was impossible to come down. They were so wide, so... Man, man, man. Fortified. Mm -hmm. Fortified, you know. Nobody can come in. Nobody can go out, you know. Mm -hmm. But he gave Joshua the plan. He says, do this. Mm -hmm. Put your worshipers up, pray. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> what are you talking yes. about, you know? You want your best soldiers up front. Put your praise and worship yes. team up front. Amen. And you know what? When he did and obeyed what God told him to do, mm -hmm. those walls come tumbling down. Yes, You've got yes. walls up against you. But you know what? Magnify him. Worship him. You know what? Those walls have to come down. Yes, they do. Amen. Amen. Yes, Hallelujah. There's no other way no other except way. his way. Amen. As a matter of fact, he says, Jesus says, I am the only way. I am the way, the truth, yes. and the life. Nobody goes to the Father no. except through me. And walls the world has put up to block you. He says, I can knock them down. Yeah. Magnify yeah. him. Worship him. You know what? The walls have to come down. Right. Amen. Confess it as your Lord and Savior. The walls yeah. are coming down. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. It. Praise the Praise Lord. Lord. Keep going. Okay, right there. Stay right there. <laughs> says, let you just let your joy flow. It says, have a Listen, you can write this down and put it somewhere where you can see it every day. Have a joy, have a Jesus joy-filled day. Uh -huh. that's, that's a mouthful there. Yeah, have a yeah. Jesus joy-filled day. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. Encouraging all of you. Uh, excuse me, see. Encouraging all who are facing cares, problems, struggles, mm -hmm. difficult situations. Yes. Man, this yes. is all of us. Yes. To realize that you can still have the joy of the Lord no matter yes. what you're facing. Amen. That's it. That's it. You know what? Jesus was facing a cross. Mm -hmm. Amen. And let's read this scripture and check it out. See what it says. Mm -hmm. It says in Hebrews 12 too, uh, easy to read version and it got the amplified. But easy to read version says, we must never stop looking to Jesus. Why? He is the leader of our faith. Yes, and he is. he is the one who makes our faith complete. Yes. He suffered death on the cross, but he accepted the shame of the cross. He accepted it. You know what him and the Father met in heaven? Mm. Father told him, right. I'm going to send you and sacrifice you because I want my people back. Mm. And he agreed. He says, I'll go. No matter what the shame. Amen. He was on a cross naked, mm. beaten, amen, bad. He says, 
But he accepted the shame of the cross as if it were nothing. Yeah. Because of the joy he would see waiting for him. Yes. He saw the joy waiting for him. Amen. Amen. We need to do the same thing. Yes. Amen. Hey, you, whatever you may be going through, still <laughs> see the joy in it. Right. Amen. Amen. He saw the joy that was waiting for him. And now he is seated at the right side yes. of God's throne. Yes. And that's a that's not a place of weakness. That's a place uh -huh. of authority. Yes. Yes. Amen. That's the place of authority. Right. The, the yes. key, uh, Amplified says, look at a way for all that will distract us and focusing our eyes on Jesus, who is the author and perfecter of our faith. The first incentive for I believe and the one who brings our faith to maturity. Amen. Who for the joy of accomplishing the goal set before him endured the cross. He's got goals for you. He's got missions for us. You know, and we are not going to complete our missions without Him. We need Him to complete our missions. We need Him to complete our missions with joy. Yes. Amen. Because there's going to be distractions. Mm -hmm. If you see it in the flesh, you'll be distracted and want to give up and want to quit. Yeah. yeah. But when you're in the Spirit... <laughs> You'll do it with joy. The Lord, I'm doing this unto you. Uh -huh. He's our greatest example. Yes, and who are we going to copy? Copy our greatest example. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Who, for the joy of accomplishing his goal set before him, endured the cross. Disregarding the shame. There was shame there. Oh, yes. And we have gone through some of that. Amen. But no. He, he first, he says, Disregarding the shame and sat down at the right hand, right hand of the throne of God, revealing his deity, his authority, and the completion of his work. Yeah. You know, when you enter into heaven, you want to hear, Well done, well done, well done good and faithful, faithful servant. Enter the joys of the Lord. Yes, yes. amen. Woo, praise God. Whatever it may be, whatever he's called you to do. We do different things, but still we're ministers of reconciliation, mm -hmm. bringing the laws to the kingdom of God. Amen. Bringing souls into the kingdom of God. Ooh, yeah. Man, Thank praise God. God. Listen, that's not all. What about David and Goliath? Yeah. Hey Amen. We talked about these the last few times we was up here, but David and Goliath, man. Mm. Since David was so joyful <laughs> to face this giant, he said he ran to him. Mm. Giant didn't know what was expecting him. What he was expecting this little guy, you know, on fire for God, joyfully, he could run into him yes. and said, I'm going to cut your head off. <laughs> but he did. I don't know how he lifted that sword, but he, he managed to lift the sword. Like yes. the Lord gave him strength to do that. Yes. Paul and Silas were beaten, man, just like Jesus. Mm. And yet, at midnight hour, Instead of griping and complaining mm -hmm. uh -huh. and, and crying to God, says, Hey, we're doing your job and you're doing your work and you will. And look what happened to us. Yes. And they weren't crying, they were praising and worshiping God. Yes, and you know what? Jesus heard. Mm -hmm. Well, God heard and came and released them, you know. Mm -hmm. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. You know, that reminds me of uh, uh, oh, Stephen. Yes. Amen. They beat him to death. They stoned him to death. Yep. Mm -hmm. And but you know, Jesus saw what was happening, and he stood up. That's the only place in the Bible that says Jesus stood. Mm -hmm. He said he's seated at the right hand of God. But when he saw Stephen and Stephen doing his mission, fulfilling his mission for Jesus for God, Jesus stood up right. and honored him and received him. Yes. Amen. Ooh, praise God. Lord, Lord, Lord. Lord. Ooh. Praise God. Yes. Ooh, hallelujah. I tell you, you think Moses was real joyful when he sees a Red Sea in front of him mm. and then he sees the Egyptian army mm. behind him. I said, Lord, <laughs> he smiled. Mm. And Lord said, Him, oh, parted the, the, the Red Sea mm. and they walked through. Mm. Amen. Ooh. Just whatever situations you may be facing, yes. you know what? Yes. He can do the same thing for you. Yes. He can just split it wide open. He can knock them walls down. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. He can be joyful instead of sad. 
in human gloom, you know. You don't have to go there. The greater one is in you. And if you have it, then confess him as your Lord and Savior. Amen. <laughs> we talked about this last week about Jonah and the belly of the fish. <laughs> he was sad. He was mad. And he says, no, I'm not going to Nineveh. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> and he was running from God. And some of you watching, some of you listening, <laughs> we've been running from him for a long time. It's time to stop and say, hey, you're in the belly of that whale, you know, yes. or the belly of the fish, or whatever belly you happen to be in, whatever problem you happen to be in, yes. all you need to do is confess him as you want to say. And he, he had already told the fish what to do. Yep. Mm -hmm. He said, you were supposed to go to Nineveh, so the fish went to Nineveh, spit him out. <laughs> He says, okay, I'm going, you know. As soon as I clean myself up with all this seaweed and stuff. Yeah. Oh, and he went and did what God had told him to do. Amen. Yes, yes, the three yes. Hebrew children, I told you, they, they heated up the fire seven times hotter than before. And the men that threw them in, the soldiers, whatever, threw them in, were consumed. Yes. Mm -hmm. And they was in the, in the fire. Mm -hmm. They said, wait a minute, we threw three in there, but I see four. Whatever you may be in, you know what? God is with you. Yes, yes. And you know why he backed up? Because we saw who's backing you. Uh -huh. I said, whoa. <laughs> He's with you. The yeah. Bible says he never leaves you no know, for sex. Yeah, yeah. He's with you. You, you know what? If you're not renewing your mind to the things of God, you start thinking negative. Mm -hmm. Still, he's with you. Yes. yes. Amen. So it's not about circumstances. It's about us renewing our mind. Mm -hmm. To the things of God, the Word of God, Amen, and confessing what the Word of God says. Woo, hallelujah, Lord, Amen. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Keep going. This is good. This is good. Uh, John fifteen nine and through eleven says, "As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just yeah. as I have kept my Father's commandments." And abiding his love, these things I have spoken to you, uh -huh. that your joy may be that my joy, that my joy may be in you, and that your joy may be Maybe. full. Oh, amen. Yeah. Running over, <laughs> man. That's yeah. right. And running over. Mm -hmm. You know what? When you get so full of joy and so full of him, he says, "I have your innermost being shall flow rivers of, of living water, water, rivers of joy." Yes. <laughs> amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Man. Lord. Don't Hallelujah. limit yourself. You know when you put on his super on your natural, <coughs> you, be, you become super natural through him. Amen. Yeah. Man. Lord. Praise God. He says, what I've done, you can do also. Why? Because I'm speaking the word. Yes. I'm a child of God. He's my heavenly father. I'm his child. Amen. Yes. And I can do all things through Christ, Christ who strengthens me. And all I'm doing is I'm confessing the word of God. I'm speaking the word of God. He says, if you speak it, it'll go and accomplish mm -hmm. and fulfill whatever mission it goes out to do. Amen. Amen. Ooh, man. Praise God. He's not limiting us. We limit ourselves. Yes, yes. And we need to not limit him. Amen. Ooh. Praise God. Praise God. Praise glory, God. glory, Keep glory. going. Man, we're doing good. How are we doing? Mm -hmm. All right. Again, Nehemiah, we, this is a latter part of the of the scripture. That's not the whole scripture, but it says, Nehemiah 810b, say it, me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> New King James Version says this, the joy of the Lord is your strength. Yes. You know what it says, is your strength? Uh -huh. You can put your name there. Yes. It says, the joy of the Lord is Jose's strength. Uh -huh. My strength. My strength, you know, yes. my strength. You can put your name in it. Make, make it mine. It's mine because of what God says so. Mm -hmm. Amen. So I'm going to be strong through Him. And the enemy knows this. Yes. Because when you confess in the Word, it says, wow, the greater one is in Him. Yes. I'm going to flee. I'm going to go. Amen. Submit yourself to God. Resist Him. When you say resist, you take authority. Yes. Take authority. Amen. You take authority. And when you take authority, you know what? The enemy listens mm -hmm. because he's hearing the word of God. Amen. Mm -hmm. Ooh, hallelujah. Praise God. He's rejoicing. Yes. <laughs> That's all right. That's what we need to do. Amen. There's a lot of people rejoicing at the Olympics. Yeah. 
Amen. Oh, the great things, you know, when we assemble ourselves mm -hmm. together, we can rejoice too. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. God. And you can do that about on your own too. Keep going. Okay, right there. <clears throat> so Philippians 4, 4. This says King James says, Rejoice in the Lord sometimes. And always. again. Always. Oh, always. Okay. Mm -hmm. Rejoice in the Lord always. Mm -hmm. We just want to do it sometimes, you know, when yeah. we feel like it. Yeah. When I think of it, mm -hmm. you know. Or when I go into bad, or when I fall into diverse temptations, you know. Mm -hmm. No. It says, Rejoice in the Lord always. always. And again, I say, Rejoice. rejoice. If you didn't get yeah. it the first time, yeah. I'm going to say it again. Rejoice in Him always. You know, Amen. this is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice, rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Yeah, but you don't understand. You know, it's supposed to be raining right now. It's supposed to be snowing right now. We're supposed to be having a hurricane right now. Whatever the circumstances, it, it doesn't matter. You know, know that you can rejoice and be glad in this yes. day. Why? Because He's given it to us. Amen. I'm going to be strong in him. Hallelujah. This, uh, this translation says, Be full of joy. The New Living uh, Version says this, Be full of joy always because you belong to the Lord. Yes. Again, I say, be full of joy. Why? Because I belong to him. Mm -hmm. And he wants me to be joyful. Mm -hmm. And joy, if I'm joyful, it just means Jesus owns me, so I'm going to be happy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. Awesome, awesome, awesome. <clears throat> First Thessalonians 5, 16 and 8 through, 8 through 18. It says rejoice always. Always. Mm -hmm. Pray continually. Giving thanks in all circumstances. For this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. Yeah. Again, New Living Translation or New Living Version says this: "Be joy, be full of joy, all the time." Mm -hmm. The New King James says, "Rejoice always." Mm -hmm. Amen. So, it's nothing wrong with that. We just got to take it to heart, you know. We just got to be obedient to what the Word of God <coughs> tells us to do. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, if you're listening to the flesh, if you're listening to the world. And being negative and confessing the wrong things, you're gonna give in and you start being like the world. And he doesn't want us to be like the world. As a matter of fact, keep going. It's in here. Oh, well, this verse, Galatians 5, 22 through through 23 says, "But the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control." Galatians yeah. 5. Uh, yes. Chapter 5, verses 22 and 23. Mm -hmm. So joy is the fruit of the Spirit. Yes, and you know, these fruits, we can develop. Yes. <laughs> we can grow in these, you know, and develop these things. Yep. You know, because if you don't have the greater one in you, and you haven't confessed Him as your Lord and Savior, you're not going to be joyful. You're going to be down and out. You're going to be doom and gloom, you know. Oh. But you get in it, and you confess Him, and you start living it, and you start yes. confessing Him. And you start living it, you know, and you start speaking it, yes. and these are going to grow. It's called yeah. mature maturity. Yes. We're going to grow and mature in the things of God. That baby's not going to stay a baby forever. No. It's going to grow. Growing. Just like us. <laughs> Amen. Thank God. So mom says, oh, praise God. <laughs> Keep going, man. These are good. Uh, Proverbs 17, 22, this translation says, A joyful heart is good medicine, but a broken spirit dries up the bones. You know, we got to remind ourselves this, you know, because if you listen, again, if you listen to a negative world, it's going to bring you down if you let it. But don't let it bring you down. you got to stay up and up, okay? And you got to know, uh, excuse me, let me see. you got to know that the joy of the Lord is your strength, but the joy, joyful heart is good medicine for you. Uh -huh. If you're speaking good things, uh -huh. body's good, body hears it, and, you, and it's, it's going to liven it up. And it's going to be joyful, amen? So no doom and gloom, amen? Keep going. 
These are good. Yes, First John 4, 4 says, Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Amen. The enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. He's in the world. But greater is he that is in you. Amen. We got we got to know this. New King James. You are of God, little children, and have overcome, because he who is in you is greater than he that is in the world. Amen. And who's in the world? The enemy. Who comes to steal, kill, and destroy and destroy mm -hmm. Woo. so why are so many believers losing their joy yeah. <laughs> start our days our jobs our, our lives our our walks mm. always full of joy mm. amen always full of joy amen. because the joy of the lord is your strength amen. again amen. psalms 118 24 this is the day the lord has made i will rejoice and be glad in it nehemiah 8 10 says his joy is my strength mm -hmm. amen Woo. hallelujah so full of love, so full of joy and zeal, and lose passion, excited when we first come to Christ. Everything is joyful and great. And as time goes by, it seems like uh, we spring a leak. <laughs> and if you're not renewing your mind to the things of God, you start hearing the things because you know what your mind is going 100 miles an hour and that's the battlefield and if you're not renewing your mind you're going to start thinking like the world mm -hmm. and if you start thinking like the world you're going to start speaking mm -hmm. negative things right yeah. bible well i wrote it this way it says <laughs> we spring a leak so we become leaky Christians. Yes. Oh. Yes. oh my God. <laughs> and all the joy yeah. is going to leak yeah. out. <laughs> it's going to come out. And you're going to get empty. And when you're empty, you're no good. Mm -hmm. Because you're going to start being like the world and being empty. You got to fill yourself back up. Huh? Don't get yourself. Don't allow yourself to get empty. Stay filled. Stay filled. Amen. Our priorities change. And we invite the world in. Mm -hmm. Now we're serving the world mm -hmm. and the things of the world instead of Him first. Our words okay. and our actions change. Mm -hmm. I guarantee you, this it, they'll change because you no longer confessing Him. You're confessing what the world is saying. Amen. So we got to be careful. Proverbs eighteen twenty one. Keep going to the next one. This is I like that one. It says Proverbs 18 21 says death and life are in the power of the tongue yeah. and those who love it will indulge in it and its fruit and bear the consequences of their words yeah. uh -huh. so the words you're speaking yeah. you're going to bear the consequences mm. it says death and life are in the power of the tongue the words you speak mm -hmm. and those who love it and indulge in it mm -hmm. and its fruit and bear the consequences of their words yeah. your words yeah. amen so you got to be careful put a guard <laughs> and don't say it zip the lip don't say it and if you're going to say it confess what the word says right. mm -hmm. not what the world says but the word says <laughs> amen it says death and life are in the power of the tongues the words you speak bad good uh, positive negative leaky christians speak bad words mm -hmm. That's not good. Amen. Because you can have what you say. There are too many Christians who are just struggling through life. Born again Christians living a defeated life. You can live a defeated life. You know, if you get all the word in you, what good is it going to do you if you got all the word in you and you're not confessing it? Yes. Amen. Speak the rhema word of God. You know, speak it out. Get it in you. Meditate on it. But you know what? You got to speak it out. And it goes and it's sown. Amen. It's a seed. Words of seed. You right. go and sow those seeds. Amen. And when you sow the seed and you speak it out, it's going to go and accomplish it what it's supposed to do. Amen. Yeah. So praise God. That yeah. is good. It's a good thing. Amen. So we're on our way to heaven. Now, sadly, we are, we want to be in our way to heaven joyfully. On our way to heaven joyfully, shouting, singing, victory in Jesus. Victory yeah. is mine. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. God wants you to rejoice and to be glad in your life. 
Amen. He says he wants you to have life and have it more abundantly. More abundantly. Amen. We got a whole lot more to go, but we're going to stop here. Amen. We just got to make sure that we have the joy of the Lord in ourselves. Amen. Amen. Remembering the joy, the abundant life of Jesus. He died to give you uh, is based on a decision for you. Okay, and not your consequences. Amen. So yeah. know that Jesus wants you to have joy. Amen. Amen. Because his joy is our strength. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Did you receive something? Amen. <laughs> well, praise God. Amen. Those of you watching, those of you listening, if you never accepted him and you want this joy of God in you, amen, all you have to do is say, Lord, I've sinned against you. I repent, come into my life, be my Lord and Savior, mm -hmm. so that I can have this joy and let this joy be my strength. Amen. Yeah. And live for you. Well, you know what? You just get yourself a Bible. Go to get get yourself to a Bible-based church where they're teaching the Word of God and where you can go and be around Christian believers, you know, that are going on and encourage you. Yes. Amen. Yes. To be strong, you know. As Christians, we're here to be empowered, not uh, entertained. Amen. So let's remember this. Woo, hallelujah. If you have sickness in your body, I speak to my body all the time. You can do the same thing. Whatever I speak to my body, the word of God. And say, by Jesus stripes, you're healed. So sickness, I take authority over you and I rebuke you and I command you to go in Jesus' name. Yeah. I thank you, Father, that my body functions to the perfection. You created it to function. Yes. Every part, every organ, every tissue, everything, every muscle in this body functions. The way you created the right, amen. So I speak healing over my body and I receive my healing in Jesus' precious name. Amen. amen. Oh, amen. Hallelujah. In time of giving, go to our website, nbcbigben.com. Hit that donate button if you're mailing it. Uh, NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas 79843. And for Cash App, go to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. God loves you and we love you. And remember, the joy of the Lord is your strength. Amen. Amen.